Ecological connectivity is the conservation of the movement of species across landscapes and seascapes and even freshwater aquatic systems like the stream behind me. It's allowing for species and natural processes to essentially maintain their ability to move across landscapes because life is a dynamic, moving process. The Center for Large Landscape Conservation is laser focused on connectivity conservation. With our own scientists and policy experts on staff, we have become the global hub of expertise on protecting connectivity. Even though we're based in Bozeman, Montana, we're still able to share this expertise and connect with partners all over the globe on a day-to-day -day basis using technology like Zoom. Connectivity is a measure of permeability for the wildlife movements through a territory. So if they have, you have a city, it's very difficult. If you have a primary forest, it's very easy to generate it's the, the two extremes now of the, of, the, of the landscape. Connectivity to me is essential. It is not, it is not an add-on. It is not a, in an ideal situation, it would be great to have populations connected. It is the basic requirement for populations to be better in the future, fit in the future, require less management in the future. Connectivity is all about win-win. It's where the wildlife will win because they will be able to continue to travel and reproduce and thrive and eat and have cover. And it's also where humans can actually continue uh, to drive and get from one spot to another one, but also enjoy the natural resources. Saving the ecology of connected nature, combating the forces of fragmentation, working to connect people so that we can connect nature. And in doing so, we're trying to work across various sectors of society, across different geographies, across different cultures, across different organizations. Collaboration is the touchstone of our work.